Yo, what is up guys? Back with another Forza Horizon 3 video and I've literally just bought the Nissan Skyline R31 and the design looks absolutely incredible. Not the actual like decals on the car but the, the design of the vehicle itself, the shape looks absolutely incredible. Check this bad boy engine. That is mint. I've seen some of the upgrades that you can get to the vehicle. What have they got in the boot? Ooh, loads of space in the boot. Wonder what we could put in there. Not sure. We'll have to have a think about that. Check those bad boy seats. So I'm going to see, get into it and basically upgrade the car. And then today we're going to go and look for the barn find. Okay, so you can add a sick body kit to it. So I'm going to add that. So that does most of the upgrades for you, but there's obviously still going to be some in there that you can do yourself. So let's go to custom upgrades. Okay, so what's it got on it already? So it's got a 2.6 litre. Okay, so we could do that, I guess. Probably not going to. Yeah, we don't want to change that. Leave it as it is. What is that? Okay, so it's like those window wind things. Yeah, we don't want them. They're not really going to make a difference to the car. Now that just looks stupid. I'm going to keep the old rear wing. Let's get into it and change the tyres. Don't really want... Uh, I don't know. I guess it does look pretty cool. Okay, so they've already been widened. Oh, we can go one more. And preferably, I would like to stick. I mean, I've already got a design on it, so I wanted to put some gold wheels on there, but obviously not. And it doesn't actually look. Where are we? Okay, I'm getting worried now. For a second, I didn't actually think I could put those wheels on there. Okay, so let's go through and just check that it's all been upgraded. And there's nothing that's been left out that we can add on the car that would make it any better than it already is. Right. I guess literally everything has been added. I can already see... Oh, there's one more. Yeah, we can go one more. So there's already the roll cage in there. Oh, what the hell? You've left ones out, man. There's so much more we can do. Not that it does much to the vehicle, but ah, oh, well. Who cares? We'll add it anyway. Oh, we'll add that. Get that little bit of extra power. Okay, so the drivetrain, do we add that? No, we don't. We just leave it as it is. And then what I'm going to do is go and see if we can get the barn find. So we have the Nissan Skyline R31. So let's take it for a spin and see what this thing can do while we search for the barn find as well. Okay, so it sounds pretty awesome. If I'm right, let me know, it, but it does sound pretty cool. Probably like one of the best sounding Skylines on the I'm probably wrong there, but it is probably up there in that vicinity of one of the best sounding ones. So I'm going to get to the barn find. I'm actually gonna drive there instead of being lazy. And it's safe to do so. Um, fast travel there, so I will be there in 
I will be there shortly, so let's see what this barn find has to bring. Calculating route. yards, turn right. Turn right. In 200 yards, keep left. Keep left. at your destination. So we are finally at the barn find and let's see what it is. I hope it's something good. Please be something good. Please. I knew we'd find it. We always do. Okay. Whoa, cool! So, it's, a, it's Volvo, a Volvo. But what a Volvo. Front engine, rear drive sports car. And if it's the one I think it is, it's famous. I guess we can Come on, pimp let's this get thing it out, out of here. and see what it has to offer. Doesn't really look that great of a car. But, oh well. Go away. Go so what away. I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to keep the I'm game running ready. just until the... Barn find is ready, and then we'll get into it and check the barn find out, guys. So be back in two. So, guys, we're ready to get back into it, and the is ready to go. barn find is now ready to collect. So let's go and check it out and see what we can do with this classic Volvo. Cut across here. Oh dear. So let's get back there pretty quick so we can get on with the video from you guys. Move out of my way, man. Oh dear, oh dear. So I've only got three now to collect. There it is. 
Volvo <coughs> 1800E. Fuel injected engine, 130 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 9.6 seconds. So it doesn't look oh, and all it's the that car bad. Roger Moore drove in the Saint. Yep, you heard that right. So let's see if we can pimp this classic sports car. Right. Okay, so we can put a 3.2 litre engine in it. What about the drivetrain? Okay, so we'll add that. We'll add a single turbo. What can we get on here? Okay, so we'll add some pretty cool looking um, front bumper. And we'll add the classic rear bumper. <coughs> Those race tire, those race compound tire tires add a lot of a um, lot of handling and braking as well, so that's good. So add some classic, maybe some classic rims to it. Oh, I'm gonna stick with them because that looks pretty awesome. Let's rack the size up to 17, and then the rear. To 18, that looks pretty cool. Now all that we need to finish it off is just to lower it, basically. That would look pretty cool. Um, I mean, the front end sticks up quite a lot. <clears throat> so let's get to the suspension and see what it looks like now. See, that looks a lot better, in my opinion. Just wondering how this is going to sound. engine upgrades the speed isn't that great but I'm hoping everything else will be okay so the speed's gone up a little bit not by much though unfortunately but sometimes we have to deal with it deal with what we've been given So let's go into so 130 horsepower to 718. That's crazy. <clears throat> In a little car like that as well. So let's see what we can do with the tuning. Okay, so we can lower it down a little bit more. What about the gearing? So we've got it at 202.2. To 12.7 to 12.9 it's not too bad not much of a difference 0 to 60 in 2.665 seconds that's pretty crazy for a classic car so let's see how this car handles it looks pretty nuts Doesn't sound all that great, but pretty rapid on launch and acceleration, though. It's not the greatest looking car, but it is pretty cool in a sense that the classic car, what we took from 130 horsepower. Whoa! Watch where you're going. 130 horsepower is now 713 crazy okay let's do this launch don't hit me that is crazy I don't even think that was 2.6 seconds to 0 to 60 and we can get it to 212.9 apparently it's pretty slow on the final drive but it's going to be, it's a classic car, or should we say legendary car, as some people may call it. So 
so it's pretty rapid. I thought we would get the 212 on the downhill, but unfortunately not. Now we're uphill, so it's going to decrease. Oh, so much damage. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. All I ask, if you hate it, love it, please just enjoy it. And I'm so happy to get back into Forza Horizon 3 with the new DLC pack and the cars it has to offer. I will be doing some new videos on this in the next couple of days to come. And please leave a like, hit that like button for me. Also subscribe down below and also comment down below as well. But remember to hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it if you could do that guys, it would mean a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed the video today guys and I will see you again soon. Peace.